did you know that you can use your Windows Mixed Reality VR headset together with the Vive controllers? Yes, that's actually possible. If you follow my guide in this video, you can learn how you can use your Vive or Vive Pro controllers with any of the existing Windows Mixed Reality headsets in any Steam VR game. So yes guys, you know me, I'm in love with the Samsung Odyssey already after a few weeks, but the tracking is really, really bothering me. So today I'm bringing the HTC Vive tracking into the world of the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Hope you're gonna enjoy this one and I hope you're gonna find this one helpful as well. Join me guys. So first off, Browse into the configuration folder of the SteamVR, open up the file steamvr.vr settings. Just open up the file in Notepad, scroll down to the SteamVR bracket, add a new line and paste the line activate multiple drivers true. Remember to save the file afterwards. Next up, there are two different ways you can do this, either by connecting the Vive controllers by the headset itself, but in this way you need to disconnect the HDMI cable. Start off the Windows Mixed Reality Steam VR version and wait for your Windows Mixed Reality headset to be active. Now power up both of the Vive controllers and you will see them popping up. Also, the lighthouses or the base stations are gonna pop up in case you have them with the Bluetooth connection on. In case not, you will have to do that manually. Just turn them on so they are all green. In case you have two Vive trackers, you can do it a different way. You can completely disconnect the HTC Vive headset and just use the Vive tracker dongles to pair the Vive controllers with and to have them connected to your PC. And the first time you're doing this, disconnect the USB cable from the dongle and connect the USB cable to the trackers so they show up in SteamVR. When both trackers are grey and showing up in SteamVR, disconnect the cable again and plug it back into the dongle. What we need to do now is to pair both the Vive controllers with the dongles. It's a very easy procedure, just hold the both of the buttons on the Vive controllers until they pair automatically. And you need to do this for both of the controllers of course. Once they're green, they should both be paired and visible in SteamVR as green controllers. Don't mind the Vive trackers, they're not going to be visible there next time you start off SteamVR. Also make sure that the lighthouses are powered up and running. And now it's time to jump into SteamVR and check if we can see the Vive controllers inside of our mixed reality headset. Well, if you can see them totally misalign, then you're good. Don't worry, we're going to fix that in a moment. So now close SteamVR and move on to the next step. Now we're gonna install the OpenVR Input Emulator. Just google up the official GitHub page of the OpenVR Input Emulator and download the latest version. Just double click on the executable file and install the software and start off SteamVR again. Of course you need to start off SteamVR the same way again, first with the Mixed Reality headset active and then you power up both of the Vive controllers. The lighthouses needs to be there and green, so if they are not there you need to power them on and have them active. So back in SteamVR and now it's time to configure alignment of the Vive controllers. So go into the OpenVR input plugin and it could be a little bit troublesome to start it off because it could be really difficult to reach it but my tip is go forward just a little bit and then start off the SteamVR menu and then go backwards this way it's gonna be easier to navigate through the SteamVR menus. Start off the plugin and make sure that the Windows Holographics is the active device. Next go into device offsets. Here are the, all the offsets for our headset alignment so we're gonna change those values though X Y and Z values as well as the yaw, pitch and roll values to get the headset fully aligned where well it's supposed to be. Also remember to check that enable offset box to be able to see what you're doing in real time. And as you may understand we are way too high up with our headset so that what we need to start to do is to change the value for the Y and that is the vertical alignment of the headset. So as soon as I'm going minus on the Y value everything is going up and that means that my headset is going down of course. So just keep up until you are fully satisfied. The more up you go you can actually just close down the SteamVR menu and open it up again to 
get well a better view because it's getting easier and easier to navigate in those menus the closer you get to your controllers so just keep on until you feel that the controllers are aligned so yeah this takes some time and also you need to change the other values as the yaw for example that's the rotation of the play space so uh, my controller is pointing straight forward when I'm actually pointing with it straight forward. I have to align the value to 25 degrees in this case. And in every case it's going to be different. Everything depends on how your game's place area is set up. So you cannot take my values and apply them into your setup because it may end up totally wrong. So you really need to make this manual and it is going to take a lot of time. This took me maybe 15 minutes to finish before I got really satisfied. But the closer you get to perfection, the more easier it gets to align the controllers or your head alignment. And after a while, you're just centimeters away from getting a perfect alignment with your real controllers. And to make the last little bit, I would recommend you to put one of your controllers in your pocket and hold the headset with your other hand because you only need one hand to actually align everything. And while you're changing those values, you can put up the headset to, well, make a comparison if the controller inside of VR is really aligned with your real life Vive controller. Also, I was not happy with the rotation alignment, the yaw alignment of my controller. So I decided it's gonna be somewhere between 20 and 25. And you can type any value you want manually by just clicking on it. And in my case, I chose 23 degrees instead of 25. And that was completely perfect aligned with my real controllers. So now it's pointing straight forward, just like it should. So the only thing that's left is just to make some final alignments. And once you feel satisfied with the controller alignment, well, you can pick up the second controller and you're gonna see that it's gonna be perfectly aligned as well. And make sure to look around a little bit to really feel that the controllers are perfectly aligned with your real life controllers from all different angles. So when you feel ready, the next step is to save this as a profile because we don't want to do this every time, right? So go into new profile and pick a name for it. Well, in this case, I'm just gonna type perfect one as the first profile I'm making. And let's not forget that you have to tick both of these boxes. The first one is for the offsets to be saved and the second one is for input remapping and that is going to be useful for later. So let's click OK. And now the profile is saved. So whenever we want, you can, we can just load up the profile. It's over there, perfect one. Don't mind the other two profiles, the config one and two. That are just my old profiles that I was messing up with some other stuff. Click on the apply and everything is saved. Even if I put the controllers on the ground, they're just like perfectly laying there, just like they are supposed to do. No lag, no delay whatsoever, it just works. So let's turn off Steam VR for a second. Start it off exactly the same way as before. First the mixed reality headset, then the controllers, and we're gonna load up the profile. So unfortunately, every time you start up, Steam VR, you will have to load up the profile. It's not going to be remembered automatically. But once the profile is loaded, it's going to just be perfect again. So let's jump into the Skyrim VR game. And now we're going to try out how the Vive controllers are working with the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality headset. Straight away, I can see that they're perfectly aligned in game as well. The problem is that I cannot do free locomotion with the touchpad, but we're going to fix that in a moment. So, well, let's just jump into one of my save points. As I was hoping, it just works. It works exactly as using the HTC Vive. The controllers are perfectly tracked, so much better than the Windows Mixed Reality controllers. The bow handling is just flawless. And well, most of the buttons works as well. Going into menus, navigating around and doing all this stuff. The only thing that's not working is the free locomotion, but we're gonna fix that in a second. Also, the haptic feedback or the vibration in the controllers is working and I can feel that right away when using the bow and those magic spells. So well, the free locomotion is not working, but we are about to fix that now because it took me a while, but I realized that you can do that with this input emulator plugin as well. And this time we're gonna choose one of the controllers as the device at the top of the page. 
Now go into input remapping and go into axis zero trackpad. Click on the no remapping and in the binding type choose open VR. Now controller, choose the same controller again. That's the same number of the left controller I have. It's very important that you choose the same controller and the axis should be the axis zero trackpad. You don't need to change anything else, just click save and we're gonna jump into the game again. Well, and as you can see, it just works. Suddenly, the free locomotion is working with the left touchpad, just like when running this game on the HTC Vive or HTC Vive Pro. And well, I can tell you, it just works. For some reason, the right touchpad is suddenly working. So I can also do the free rotation with the right touchpad. I don't know, I have not even configured the right controller, but it's magically just working. I don't know, don't ask me how I did it. And as I said before, when shooting some magic and stuff, the vibration is there on the controllers and you can navigate through all the menus and the main menus and all the weapons and options, just like when using the controllers with a regular HTC Vive. And do you remember why we ticked in the include input remapping? Well, this is to save what we just did, the controller remapping, so be sure to save that. So, well, all in all, it works quite well. I haven't been playing so much yet. I only played it for around 20 or 25 minutes. I feel that this is the ultimate solution for all Windows Mixed Reality owners. Well, at least if they have an HTC Vive, of course, you need the controllers and you need the base station. If you have the Vive trackers, of course, it's gonna be even simpler because this way you don't even need the headset being connected with USB. And the more time you spend on aligning the controllers or the headset to the controllers, the better it gets. I think I made quite a good job. It's almost perfect and I can really not feel any difference compared to playing this on the HTC Vive with those controllers. So well, I'm very happy about this. I have not tried any other games yet, but I will for sure, because from now on, I think I'm gonna play with the Samsung Odyssey headset with those Vive controllers, because tracking is just so much better. So guys, before I even continue, I gotta add that this is not my invention. And this has been on Reddit for a couple of weeks now. That is all thanks to some guys on Reddit. All credits goes to them to finding this out, that it's actually possible to use the HTC Vive tracking with the Windows Mixed Reality headset. Great job guys and thank you so much for this hint because this is awesome. For me, as a Samsung Odyssey owner, I mean, this is like a new revolution to be able to use the perfect tracking with that very, very nice headset, which is way beyond the HTC Vive original well, resolution and everything. I mean, this is almost like buying an HTC Vive Pro, but cheaper, of course. And I know I'm not gonna tell you to buy the Odyssey instead of the Pro. I'm not gonna be biased. That's totally up to you. But for me, I cannot afford the HTC Vive Pro. So I bought the Samsung Odyssey a couple of months ago or so, and, but I mean, it is good, it is very good, and now it's become even better with this tracking. So I'm very happy for this, and I really hope you found this helpful, and I really hope that a lot of you will try this out. If you have any questions whatsoever concerning this modification, please let me know in the comments, please leave a comment, and I will reply as soon as possible. I know there are some things that I actually didn't add in this video that I probably should have, and that is that the calibration with the OpenVR input emulator can be done on the PC monitor as well. There is a desktop version of the executable file of this emulator and you can run it by creating a shortcut from the executable and adding dash desktop and then you can start off the software on your PC monitor. But to be honest, I gotta tell you, it was much easier to just calibrate and configure those, you know, all those numbers and just by having the headset on and just pulling it up sometimes. And so it was just much easier for me doing it in VR right away. But if you prefer to do this on a PC monitor, you can do it as well using the OpenVR input emulator in a desktop mode. 
So guys, enough with the talk. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful. I have another very exciting video coming up. Also some customization or modification and hopefully later this weekend or maybe for Monday. We'll see about that. I'm really working on that video right now. It's going to be very exciting to try out. Uh, well, kind of a strange thing that actually works cool uh, on the HTC Vive. You may know what it is. You'll see more about it very, very soon. Guys, also, thank you so much to all my patrons. I really appreciate your support. And also, thank you so much to all of you that joined my Discord server. We are soon 300 people in there. And I really want all of you guys in there. Guys, anyway, have a good one. See you in my next video. Cheers.